so coming to the classification of lipids simple classification okay simple complex and derived okay there are three categories of uh, lipids okay as per the classification one is simple lipid second one is uh, complex or compound lipid third one is derived lipid so let us study one by one first coming to simple lipids okay simple lipids they are ester fatty acids with various alcohols so in carbohydrates what type of linkage we have studied in carbohydrates we have studied glycosidic linkages that means glycosidic linkage which connects one monosaccharide to other monosaccharide but here in lipids the linkage will be ester linkage okay the linkage is ester linkage here the joining substances are fatty acid with alcohol okay fatty acid with alcohol so again these simple lipids again they classified into two types okay based on the type of uh, alcohol what they are using okay neutral fats and waxes neutral fats okay they are esters of fatty acids with glycerol okay and they are uncharged in nature remember neutral fats which contains fatty acids okay and glycerol which are linked by ester linkage okay and they are uncharged example i can give uh, triolein and uh, triphenylpentene okay and oils you can say uh, fats and oils okay uh, fats and oils you can say oils which are uh, fats are solids at room temperature oils are liquids in the room temperature right and uh, coming to the second category waxes uh, true waxes that means they are also esters of fatty acids but with higher molecular weight alcohols okay that is the difference between fats and oils and waxes fats and oils they are made up of fatty acids and glycerol but in waxes they are made up of fatty acids plus high molecular weight alcohols long chain alcohols okay example i can give you a b wax and then uh, uh, spermosity oil okay these are the two classical examples i can give okay and which are very very useful in uh, making of lotions and ointments okay other waxes like cholesterol esters are there sulfolipids are there okay coming to complex lipids as like esters of fatty acids with alcohol okay they contain additional group okay prosthetic group okay so far in simple lipids we have seen two parts one is fatty acid other one is alcohol whether it is a uh, um, glycerol uh, sorry whether it is a glycerol or high molecular weight long chain alcohols right but in complex lipids one part is additional okay fatty acid alcohol plus additional group which is prosthetic group okay so based on this third group complex lipids again they classify okay phospholipids and other complex lipids okay the main important complex lipids to study phospholipid okay and here the composition of phospholipids they are made up of fatty acid alcohol and phosphate group so the third group or the third substance present in complex lipid is phosphate group that's why the name phospholipids the lipids which contain phosphate group okay so at the same time they may carry nitrogen base also okay along with the phosphate they may contain nitrogen uh, base also okay and the based on the type of alcohol again phospholipids classified into two types glycerophospholipids and sphingophospholipids so with the name itself indicating glycerophospholipids carries glycerol as a alcohol and sphingophospholipids carry sphingosine as a alcohol okay and glycolipids okay phospholipids we have studied right like that glycolipids okay so glycolipids combination with carbohydrates okay glycolipids means lipids are in combination with carbohydrate remember here the concentration of lipids are more compared to the carbohydrate okay along with the nitrogen base okay and other complex lipids are the lipoproteins are there lipoproteins uh, you can say chylomicron is there the combination with proteins okay glycolipids as combination with carbohydrates similarly lipids in combination with proteins known as lipoproteins okay example i can give here uh, chylomicron high density lipoprotein hdl low density lipoprotein ldl very low density lipoprotein vldl okay all these comes under other complex lipids so third one is derived lipids when complex lipids or simple lipids undergo hydrolysis okay when 
when i break this ester linkage okay here fatty acids are in uh, ester linkage with the alcohols right so when i hydrolyze these simple and complex lipids hydrolysis is nothing but breaking of ester linkage okay so i will get fatty acids and glycerol so these two comes under category derived lipids okay so glycerol may be monoacyl glycerol or diacyl glycerol and steroids like uh, lipids with a cyclopentanophenanthrin ring such as cholesterol and its derivatives such as bile acids hormones ergosterol and eicosanoids all these comes under derived lipids so there are other things are like terpenes okay isoprene units which are having five carbon compounds okay like uh, carotenes vitamin a e k dolchisol uh, coenzyme q squalene so these are all like uh, which carries isoprenoid units okay and other fatty aldehydes ketone bodies hydrocarbons and other alcohols neutral lipids which are uncharged okay so what is the importance in the uh, clinical significant point of view in obesity and in diabetes mellitus okay so obesity the lipid accumulation okay visceral of fat okay which accumulates in adipose tissue and other parts of the body makes you obese okay in diabetes mellitus what happens more lipid production more glucose more lipid production and which causes cardiovascular disorders okay that means atherosclerosis there is disorders or uh, there is problem in transportation of lipids across the blood circulation which causes deposition of uh, lipids in the arteries of the heart and causing atherosclerosis okay so now we'll discuss one by one 